Hello my laird and welcome back to Y2K, a postmodern RPG sponsored by Porygon Productions. Last time we made our way to Windtown and fought a bunch of randos in search of someone who went missing, I guess. I completely forgot the plot from... I, for I completely forgot the plot and where we left off last time. I just know that the camera in this game is whack. I think we have to go further south or something. Is this a tree? It looks like a meteorite. Alright, last time... I think this is the last place we visited. We fought this goth girl. Want to know about Carrie? You should talk to her brother. I think they live to the south of here. Alright. House is always locked. Alright. So, we need to go further south. Oops. This is where you go south. Alright. It's been like a week since I last played. Okay, so I guess this is our next guy. Fighting more randos. Robust alcoholic. Are you okay, sir? Are you okay? You're looking for the Mansur's house, huh? Why? Did she give you a key too? My wife says I need to get rid of the key if I ever want to see my daughter again. But I'd rather die than let someone else see my beautiful leggy candy. Alright, we're fighting more creeps. Broom card. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, it's this, this type of attack. Oh no. Alright. I need to get used to this entire game again. Very nice. Alright, what was his thing again? Oh, the camera. Oh, this. Right. Ah, maze balls. Oh, good. Holy shit. And it's the same kind of thing that Vela did when we fought her, and I just could not cope with it for some reason. This game really requires a lot of concentration on my part. See, when I talk, this happens. Alright. Let's finish this up. Beat some sense into me. Take this key. My wife thanks you. They live in the house that's fenced off. I don't think they like visitors. Wait, where are we? 
What? Oh, there. Uh, that that was a camera view right there. Right, so this is our destination, isn't it? Let's quickly go dumpster diving, because that's the way we like to live our lives. See, I don't... Was this a thing in the 90s too? Did people in the 90s just kind of throw money into the into the garbage can? Seems that way. Let's quickly heal and save and then we'll go into the house. Because who knows, maybe we'll be attacked by instant death monsters again. Because... That, that happens. That happens. Oh, and I forgot to turn off Dropbox in case you just heard that. Probably do that so we aren't bothered by. Where is it? Here. Uh, quick drop box. Yeah. All right. We good now. Call again anytime. All right. Let's do some progress and actually go into that house. We wonder what we will find. In the house. There's a well. Can we inspect the well? We cannot inspect the well. We cannot inspect the tree stump. We can go around. And we're blocked by grass. Alright. Let's go inside, I guess. Well, I guess this is the place. So, do we just knock? Let's give it a try. Worst comes to worst, he's sleeping and we wake him up. Who are you guys? I'm Alex. I come from the internet. Okay. Oh, one sec. Come in. Is that a hat or a hoodie or his hair or what is that? So hey, yeah, I'm Rory, but you probably figured that much out on your own. If not, why would I be letting you into my room? Anyway, what are your names? I'm Alex. This is Vela and Michael. No, I mean, what are your screen names? That's how I know all of you, so that'll be more beneficial. Oh, I'm SNES Man 99 I think that's the first time I've had to say that out loud. Uh, Michael is Veriformer, and Vela isn't cool enough to go on the message board. Hey, aren't you that girl? The one from Windway 87's post about the girl who's ripping up holes in reality in his town? I am. But don't believe everything you read on the internet. You boys take that stuff too seriously. Hey, I invented lying on the internet, so no need to warn me. Anyway, I'll have my eyes on you. Don't need you ripping a hole in my basement with your mind powers or whatever the hell it is you do. Well, then just remain on my good side. So, Rory, tell us about your sister. When did she disappear? My sister... She vanished about three weeks ago. Went to school one day, left school, and now she's gone. No crazy elevator video of her either, she's just gone. Oh, did your parents get the police involved? No, my parents aren't exactly what you call proactive. They aren't the types that jump to their kids' defense when they're in trouble. Do you think it would be okay if we talked to them? Mm, no, that wouldn't be okay. It's complicated. I see. Well, who else knows that she's missing? This is extremely serious. A teenage girl goes missing and someone needs to be doing something about it. Yeah, but it's... Yeah, okay, you're right. Where do we begin? Well, my sister Carrie started acting weird a few months back. She was having trouble with some girls at school, but nothing she couldn't handle. So one day, things get really weird when I find her in the attic. She was holding some of her baby toys, stuff that's been boxed up for years. I asked her what she was doing, and she said she needed them for gifts. Gifts for kids who had less than she did. So then she left. She took seven things with her. After she vanished, I went around looking for her, and I found her toys scattered everywhere. Anyway, the weird thing is, each place a toy was found, an accident happened there shortly after. One of the toys was left at an underpass, and the next day, a kid was killed when a car hit him. And I know that sounds like a coincidence, but then at a train station, a woman was robbed, and the guy who grabbed her purse ran into the tracks and got hit by, not the train, but a cop car that lost control and plowed into him. Anyway, this old lady had a heart attack and died the next day at the grocery store right on top of a sewage cap where another toy had been found. You can't tell me all of that is a coincidence. 
Did anything happen to you personally when you went to these locations? Were you the one who found the toys? No, my face turned completely weird. I... yeah... yeah to both. But let me... okay, let's just go to the places. I think it would be best for me to show you myself. Rory has joined your party. Thanks. Thanks, Rory. And we finally left Rory's house it was evening. I thought it was evening before. It looked pretty eveningly before. Alright, let's follow the dude. Oh, hey, there's a trash can. Can't pass up any opportunities to go dumpster diving. theory about physicality and the nature of our universe. It has a lot to do with the temporal nature of our bodies. Oh no, he's an esotericist. Basically, I think we all have a set number of days to be in our bodies, and they usually end with our bodies being destroyed. But sometimes, very rarely, we leave our bodies without dying. What exactly happened here, Rory? What makes you say this? Okay, forget that for now. I can't explain it right now. Let's continue the tour. Oh. Oh. Well, that doesn't look right to me. I just noticed the sky. The elemental composition of the human body can be looked at from the point of view of either mass composition or atomic composition. The adult male human body is approximately 57% water, and water is 11% hydrogen by mass, but 67% if you count atoms. Most of the mass of the human body is oxygen, but most of the atoms in the human body are hydrogen atoms. Not, not carbon? What we love to forget is the soul when we talk about our makeup. I don't really believe in souls in a religious sense. I like to think about the soul as our mind. Same thing. Have you ever imagined what it would be like if you successfully performed a brain transplant, but when the person woke up, they were exactly the same? Like, the brain is a physical part of the conscious, but the moment it's in a new body, the old soul, brain, or whatever, enters back into the body and poof, we're back to being ourselves. Do people really know that the brain contains our thoughts? Yeah, and before you tell me about the science behind it, I know you're right. I just think about this from time to time. You're a bit off on both your science and metaphysics, but you're onto something. Bella didn't shoot him down. She didn't mock him. In my head, the rational part of my brain was already thinking of a variety of corrections to his ideas. But after this week, I knew pretty much anything was possible. I can't do it here. Okay, let's go to the next spot. I'll try there. Is nobody going to talk about the sky, or can only I see that? Like, guys, guys, have you seen the sky lately? The, the, have you seen this titanic figure? Really? No one? Just me? Sometimes it feels like my sister is still in her room upstairs. And I don't mean to suggest that I forget that she isn't there. It goes beyond that. There are times where I feel like she's physically there. Like, in the same way I can feel my foot is attached to my leg without actually having to touch it with my hand. But she isn't here right now. There is one more place we can check. Let's go back to the overpass.
That was interesting. This is right. I think I can do it here. Okay, what, someone take a shit? the sewer cap with me. Really sounded like he was about to take shit. You want to go down there? Yes, I think that would be a good idea. Boys, give him a hand. Oh. Okay, so what I'm about to say might sound crazy, but I can prove my theory down here. Those are some funky ass looking sewers, and pretty big too. I think my sister's soul is down here, so let's look for it. Rory, I think you might be a bit... Okay, no, this will be fine. Let's look for her. I just want you to prepare yourself that what you find down here might not be her. Whatever, but I know it's her. What? What? She just said whatever you find might not be here, M might not be her, but I know it's her! Oh, okay. Let's see. Like... Alright, let's save. Those are some big sewers. Like, seriously big. Like, very, very spacious sewers. Were sewers in the 90s always this spacious? Because I didn't grow up in the 90s. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa? What is that? Right, holy shit. So we've got shit and a samurai tortoise. Uh, okay. Alright, let's kill the shit. Shit is dead. Why is the shit like that? Pacifism. Oh, what? He's like our tank or something. Zipsky, he hasn't. Okay. Um. Borker. Shell, really? Uh. Right in the manhole. Right in the man. What? All right, let's kill. Let's kill the shit. Shit. Should be enough anyway. Or not. Michael. Right, now it's dead. Interesting. So Rory is like a, a tank of sorts. Why is there a mobile toilet down here? Samurai rats. And there's a soul survivor. Okay, there are no soul survivors, alright. Um Hey! 
Telling me this game is going to go really hard down the line. Bella. I did not focus. Huh. That happens from time to time. Ah. Alright, it's over. We beat the toilet. Why is this here? Is it really just an encounter? Alright. What's in here? Nope. I need to... I need to heal up first. A little bit, at least. Actually, no, we're fine. Some jazz. Interesting. All right, uh, let's save because I don't want to experience an another signboard crushing me utterly. I really don't need that. All right. Oh, I completely neglected to start a timer for this episode. This is bad. Alright, what have we here? Samurai rats. <laughs> right, <sir. laughs> Alright, we should probably get rid of the tortoise first. So let's do that. Almost a 10 hit combo, alright. Alright, rip you. Alex! Alright, he can get rid of the poo if I focus properly this time. Like this. sandwich. A dungeon key. We'll be needing that one. Let's make an effort not to fall into the sewage. That would be bad. Wait. I, I want to test the dungeon key on the 
Okay, nope. Can't go in the toilet with a dungeon key. That was just a thought. All right. I have something that should help us clear these rocks. It's a tool called Amp. I'm going to lend you this old, ba old bass. Crank it up to 11 and strum the strings and la-di-da, the rocks will explode. Amp. Alright. Dolly Amp. Crazy feedback strong enough to break through some walls. actually explodes the rocks. This is amazing. How can, we, how can we get over there, though? That is the question. Hmm. Alright, I guess we'll have to go in here for now. Would you like to use a dungeon key? Yes! get to blast a bunch of rocks because that is very necessary. Juke. Save. Because we can. can never save enough, in my opinion. Always save when you can. You never know when a signboard is going to kill you. I've got a tool that will help you here. I think it's called Hair Whip. It's my signature move. Basically, you let your bangs fall into your eyes and jerk your head forward while torquing your shoulders. If you do this just right, you should be able to cut through small bushes. What? What? Okay, that is seriously dumb. All right, uh, we can we can use we can use. Oh, he big. He glitch. How can I get over there? That's not where I want you, my dude. Oh, I can push you. That's good. I don't think Panda wants to go into the sewage. Nope. Nope, Panda does not want to go in into the sewage. Rip. Oh. Uh, okay. How do I get over there? I want to get over there. I want to, I want I want the box. Tricky yelled at me for getting to a box and then defeating an enemy that was guarding it without actually getting the box afterwards. All right. Open sesame. This is so stupid. All right. This is just there's a trash can. This is just an excuse to gain new abilities and use them in abundance. Oh, whoops, that was the wrong move. Alright, more samurais. Ugh! <sighs> 
Oh, that was a close one. that very good how do we get over there seriously how at least we can't fall into the sludge which is good um, what about Dali oh I guess we can use Dali so let's go back and get the other chests Yes, I'm backtracking just for chests. Let's get rid of these quickly. And then use Dali to open box. Yes. Top hat, fifteen dollars. Great. All right. Now we can progress. More stuff, more stuff. Battles, I should test out what time energy actually does. Photo shoot. Right, that's some damage. Thank you. 
Um, more boxes. Alright, cool. Got another key, but how do we get over there? 